and and it was all casual and and it, it's, it, they're, they this they just built this huge um, boathouse. The Oklahoma City is the training facility for the Olympic uh, rowing team, and this is uh, it, it's just it's going to be great. And I said, well, wh what are you going to wear? And uh, my son-in-law said, I, I wore some shorts and a shirt. Okay. So I had some really nice cargo shorts. <laughs> <laughs> I had a very nice, almost like this, nice blue shirt. Sue had some capri pants is what they're called now. Pedal pushers. <laughs> and, <laughs> and so, I don't know, my daughter wore some pants of some kind. And so we take off to the regatta. I see when we get in the car, VIP parking permit. Now, our son in law works, or he's the president of a large uh, uh, association of cardiologists, and so his firm provides tickets for things like this. It's $75 a person. So when I see the VIP parking, I know we're in due for really a nice time. It started at 6 o'clock. We left at 5 minutes till 6. We uh, traveled down into Oklahoma City the traffic backed up. And I thought, well, there's some, some, some truck, it's going to construction, and so we'll be through here shortly. The traffic was going to the regatta. Oh, okay. So we get up there, and they direct us to the VIP parking. We drive out to the right next to the boondocks. And we get out and we see the facility and so we get out of our car. I've got some of my nicer shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, it's not paid. My, my son-in-law asked, is this VIP parking? <laughs> yes, it is. We begin to walk and the dirt is no longer dirt, it's powder. It's about this thick. <laughs> and there's this night, this lady next to us, and she's got this beautiful blue dress on, black shoes, heels, and she's walking through this mess. And she looks at us and she says, I wish I'd have worn my blue jeans. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I can understand that. Do you, I don't know if y'all know that, but women don't wear hose with high heels anymore. I don't know. <laughs> they would look a lot nicer. <laughs> and she's tiptoeing through the powder, the dirty powder. And she gets to this kind of sidewalk. And she looks down and I said, you might just go barefooted. She said, I think I will. So she takes her high heels off and she's trudging through this dirt. And they have for some, I don't know what, but I guess for some selling of items the next day, these little tent of things. And so we kind of squeeze through that and we walk up by the water and everybody's facing that way and we're at the back. It's just cool. I mean, it's like seven o'clock by now, we're pretty hungry. And we walk up on a big group, a bunch of shrimp, boil shrimp, all kinds of different shrimp. And we just, oh, we, we pig out. And as we begin to look around, we're the only ones there in shorts. <laughs> <laughs> and I begin to think, we have just squeezed in between those boots, and we've walked up here. They probably thought we came out of the woods. <laughs> And we are hungry, and we're, we're eating their shrimp up like it's going out of stock. And so, as I begin to look around more and more, I see really nice blingy dresses, and, and guys are all dressed up like 
Jim, and <laughs> we we got we got we got dirt Jim. on the side of my suit. <laughs> We've got shrimp between our teeth. <laughs> we look like a bunch of hicks. <laughs> and this is the grand opening of their boathouse. This is an enormous thing. It is beautiful. It is like nothing like it in the world. They've got, I won't go into all of what they do in that boathouse. And so I'm very comfortable in sitting at the back. And so this guy comes up and he, he has this air about him. <laughs> I'm getting some more shrimp and he walks up and so I start dipping for him. <laughs> <laughs> and the lady walks up and I start looking for her. <laughs> oh, that's enough. Okay, it's starting to fall off. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> and I thought, well, if I'm going to look like a servant, I might as well act like one. <laughs> and then my son in law sees somebody he knows. Lady actually came up and hugged me. And is a is a lady that uh, my daughter had gone to Poland with. She uh, takes pictures of all the food. Now they have truffles like I've never seen before. These truffles have glitter on them. I mean, it's really little real fine glitter. And so the lady comes and says, would you like to have a truffle? I say, show, honey, I love to have a truffle. <laughs> Why don't I mean, how do you eat these things? <laughs> well, I just put the thing in my mouth. It's just a little thing. My daughter and my son-in-law. <laughs> and before I know it, I looked at their faces and had glitter all <laughs> and she said, well, let me see one. And she takes, and she puts this glitter all over her face. Talk about looking like bumpkin. 